Good morning and welcome to Jack's Bain Studio Live number 17. We're live uh, three times a week on Twitch and we're working on a prototype of a sailing game. Uh, so uh, we're pretty much starting from where we left um, last Friday uh, with a working um, ghost boat. Um, I'll just go for a super quick recap. There isn't really much... Uh, new things compared to to last friday um i just i simply added the the possibility for the ghost boat to save and and load um the 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 new ghost if if you beat it um and actually was was able to to test it properly so it works so just to uh see where we are so we have our boat. And we can race against the co the ghost. Now this ghost that we see here is started behind me. Yeah. Um this ghost that we see here is uh let me slow down a bit so I will let I will let the boat overtake me. So we can see it. Come on. Here it is. So uh, this ghost that we're seeing right now uh, was originally created from a replay uh, and then converted to a slightly different format that I use for the ghost. I forget it. It's gone now. It's gone. I'm, I'm sitting here in the water without foiling. I slow down too much. Anyway, um, today we completely change the, the, the topic and we get into audio. Right now the, the software is completely silent. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to start on audio. Now the, the two possibilities that I had for for this to to happen was to um i already have some code that relies on open al uh, which is okay um it's not my favorite i tend to prefer exodio um but i have this one working it's easy to in interface with c i think the the actual binding it's something that i did by hand yeah something that i did myself by hand so i'm just adding what i need on a you know need basis right so this was already working for the flight simulator so the idea is now to bring it to this see where we're going and then possibly in the future also explore other solutions like uh, fmod or vm wise and uh, so that's the that's the plan for today. Let's see what can happen. I already downloaded a bunch of possible sounds that we might need. So here I have a, a bunch of water sounds, a bunch of creek sound, a bunch of electric motor sound. Uh, SG Racing 13, thank you very much for the follow. And uh, a bunch of uh, wind. Well, actually one wind. I already cut uh one wind sample which is what we are going to start with so this is going to be our starting sample for the wind and let's see how it goes and we're going to add more and more during the day um and see how it goes okay that works and that should give us wind all right let's hit it All right, okay, I got this very nice wind. It was from the, from the faders in OBS, I could see that the right side is louder than the left side. And I wonder why. Ah, okay, I know why. 
because we're putting the okay we're putting the wind in the center of the boat and the camera is on the left of the boat so that's why okay that that makes sense that makes sense okay right so one thing that could be interesting would be to have the wind coming from that from the actual direction of the wind Do it again so it's moving to the left moving to the left all on the left and it's back okay now it's from the back goes on the right pretty quickly all right i think for now i can live with this all right okay so let's see let's say that we're done with the wind and we want to do some some water so i was already fighting with audacity this is definitely not a good start for the water let me see where i can let me see what i can use for the water uh, and All right, I think this this could be good. Do you have some water splashing south for when the boat dives a bit? It should work with this audio that I just did. So it's going to be the physics driving it. I know this works because I did some experiment back in the days with curb sounds in, I don't remember if it was Assetto Corsa or Netcar, with curb sound made just by looking at the velocity of the impact of the, of the tire. Andrea, you remember, there you go. <laughs> it just did it. You, you probably heard the boat doing fluff. Which wasn't great, but it's a start. Okay. Yep. Yep. And in theory, when I start falling, it should go away. <laughs> and then if I dive into the water, it should do splash. <laughs> All right. I think I need some more special event for when something was not in the water and then slams into the water <laughs> yeah but it's, it's not variable actually what i have this submerged ratio is much better because it's telling me how much of the foil is underwater and how much of the foil is over the water so it's going to be much better for me because basically I don't want to emit particles or audio uh, if the foil is completely underwater or completely out of the water. I just want to do it if it is um, half submerged, right? Well, I need something that I, that I can distinguish straight away, so... Is this different? All right. I think they're different enough for what I'm trying to do. Oh, come on, Rust. You should be able to figure this out. 
you should be able to figure this out without me telling you there is a vector. Come on. It's right there. What's the problem? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> because it's not a vector. <laughs> ah, I'm such an idiot. I could do it on demand. I could do it on demand. I could do it on demand. I think this is a very good idea. So traditional boats that don't have foils won't even bother creating this. All right. Okay, so on demand creation, how we do this? Trade bound were not satisfied. Audio events, ah, audio event clone. Okay, 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 okay. It's even worse than that. This is uh, because audio buffer is just uh, an unsigned 32. It's basically an open AL thing. So if I clone this, it will be a double Double, a double drop. Mm. Makes sense. I think, I think I have no choice. I need to do it because it's the right thing to do for the future. I need a, I need an audio buffer store. There is no way around it. There is no way around it. Come on, let's just, yeah, today was going too easily, but I need to do this audio buffer store. <laughs> Holy fuck, man. Oh, now I need to pass the store every time I do up a date. <sighs> that should work. That should totally work. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Nice. I locked it. Ah, shit, of course, because foils are now different. Okay. All right. No panic. What happens? This, this is a good, is a good uh, thing to try. So if I get rid of this. Right, okay, so now, why is not working? We get a symphony of of noises, right? So we need to debug this one second. Ah, hold on. I understand what's going on. It's somehow is this that is breaking it. So is this loading of this that is bringing it? Because now water hole works, but if I do this, water hole will not work anymore, right? Right, okay. So we are breaking something here. Okay, uh, I didn't... Get you, but I think it's it's that update. He doesn't like that update. Boom. Okay. So you don't like that, right? Audio engine get source playing event. Ah. Ah. 
Ah, because he's finding it by buffer, you useless. Okay. So what is happening? So when I'm doing update, I'm doing update and on this one and the engine is saying, ah, okay, let me, let me try to understand on which event you want to do update and it's looking for an event for a source voice playing this event, but it's using the audio buffer to decide, ah, okay, this is the event you want. And since we're sharing an audio buffer, it's like we're always updating one, one single one. So what we need? The GUI, thank you very much for the subscription. So... Hey, I pimped my my catamaran. Boing boing. So let me put this other foil in the water. See, I, for example, now I would expect to hear it. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, am I that stupid? Did I not loop? <laughs> I didn't loop it. <laughs> I didn't loop it. Uh, let me let me put down the desktop audio guys and let me know I didn't loop it so the audio was stopped until it was played again sure yeah I'm I'm I'm, on, I'm using git perfect perfect this game will have mono hulls. Yes, I'm hoping to start working on one, uh, hopefully this Wednesday, next, uh, next stream. Maybe I'm just being, being an idiot. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Let me grab some headphones. What is still running? Jesus. It was so loud. All right. It works. 
Well, I think uh, I think we got to a stage where, well, we got sound with the headphones. Sounds okay. Sounds like shit, but hopefully better samples should do this. Let me commit it. Okay. Oh, maybe it's uh, is DHL or maybe it's the boat. Uh, first audio uh, implementation. Is the black one? I thought it was the gray one. I, I have to figure it out. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the boat. Oh, there is a winch. Well, thank you very much, guys, for uh, um, staying with me. It's been three hours and a half today as well. So next, my next stream is going to be uh, next Wednesday uh, at around 10 o'clock. And I hope we can see something like this in the game. I hope so. <laughs> uh, next Wednesday. So... I'll see you then next Wednesday. Uh, remember, if you see this on YouTube, you can follow these streams live on Twitch if you want. Follow there, subscribe there. But the most important thing is uh, if you like the idea of this game, share it on the social media so as many people as possible will know that uh, I'm working on it. See you next Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Ciao.